congratulations on getting your new drone for Christmas. I'm excited that you're now a part of the drone community. Now, there are five things that I wanna go over with you real quick before you get out and get flying and, and uh, become a master of this new piece of equipment you have. So number one, go to whatever manufacturer's website you got your drone, whether it's a Skydio or a DJI or if it's an XO or whatever it is, um, and download the manual. Yes, there's a manual for this thing. So you wanna be sure and download it so you have it. Also download the app. A lot of these newer drones and the more advanced drones are controlled by apps and there's some amazing technology that's built into them. AI in the sky. Um, and then also get familiar with the drone and the controller. Um, know what the switches and buttons and dials on the controller do. If there's a controller, if you're flying it on your app, then of course get familiar with that as well. Also on your drone, you're gonna have little compartments and buttons um, and, and slots. So you need to know what all those are and where those are, okay? So get familiar with that so you can be confident out there. Number two, it's important that you go out if you're in the US and you do a trust test. This is uh, by the FAA and it's administered by the AMA, Boy Scouts and several others. But essentially this is going to be, it's a simple test that will educate you on what you need to be aware of, like not flying near airports, not flying over people, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go online and take that, it's free, and you can take the test, um, and you'll need that for the next step, which is number three, to register your drone. And if your drone is more than 250 grams or eight ounces, then you'll need to register it to fly it recreationally. Now this is in the United States, but pretty much every country follows um, similar rules, but be sure and check with, with your country and what your rules are there. Um, here in the US, we have the FAA. If you're in Canada, you have Transport Canada, et cetera, and so on. All right, so you're gonna wanna go to the, if you're in the US, the FAA drone zone, and this is where you're gonna register your drone. It's gonna be $5 to register your drone, just so you know, and then you're gonna, this is so you can legally fly your drone, if it is over 250 grams. Now, if it's under 250 grams, you don't have to register it. But one thing I want you to be aware of is you are operating aircraft in national airspace. So that's a big responsibility and also a privilege and not one to be taken lightly. Now, the, the next thing is if you do wanna fly commercially, there is a FAA 107 certificate that you'll need to get. And it is a little more comprehensive test. You'll have to go to an FAA testing center and actually take the test. If you like more information on how to study and prepare for that, I'll put a link in the description. I created a study guide with a bunch of bonus resources to help you pass that test. Um, I'm willing to send it to you for free if you just cover the shipping. So you can check that in the link there. Or if you'd like, you can just get my free bonus resources and you don't have to, you, you don't even have to pay anything. They're, they're digital for you. Okay. Fourth up, crash insurance. Now this blows my mind. I've been flying drones since 1976. And to think that there's actually crash insurance for these things blows my mind to this day. Now, not all manufacturers offer it, but if you have something like a DJI, you can get a DJI Care Refresh, and I'd really recommend that you, that you get it, because the cool thing about it, if you have, let's say you spent $2,000 on a drone, well, you're not, with, if you have DJI Care Refresh, you, to get a new one, you're looking at 100, 125 bucks, you know, around, let's just call it 100 bucks. So you're not crashing a $2,000 drone, you're crashing a $100 drone. So this is, a, this is a huge, huge benefit for you, making things a whole lot simpler, a whole lot easier for you, and uh, taking a lot of the stress and pressure off, okay? And then the fifth and final thing is go out there and fly. I mean, just fly, have fun, um, and don't worry about crashing the drone as much. Do it in a wide open space, um, especially initially, but trust the technology. And if you get confused or you get disoriented, which will happen, just let go of the sticks. Most of these drones are GPS controlled and you don't have to worry about them flying away or anything like that. They're equipped with return to home features. So assuming your drone has that, if you get confused or disoriented, just let go of the sticks. It's like having a built-in pause button right there on your drone. Okay, so just let go of the sticks. It'll pause, you can try this, try that. You know, if that's not right, try something else. If that's not right, okay, that's right. And you can go from there. So you can really build your confidence. Use this technology. These things are AI in the sky. They're easier to fly and harder to crash than ever before in history. And I'm so stoked that you got it. 
All right, and if you'd like to find out more about actually making money with these things, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. We do three-day immersive trainings on how to actually make more money than a, a, a commercial airline pilot flying a drone, right? It blows blows your mind, right? There's, the, But people are doing it every day. All right, until next time, you take care and fly safe.